for all of these tasks in, uh, in the schedule plan, uh, we know the cost, of course, um, and what you can do with that is um, define the uh, expense events or the, the payment events. So by default, it's set to uh, pay by uh, completion of, uh, of each of these tasks, uh, which means that I can generate a cash flow curve. When I go into the cash flow curve over here, uh, the red line shows me the completion per task and uh, when the expense events is taking, event is taking place. Then in addition to that, I can also define income events, and I define just randomly uh, three income events, uh, one over here, one over here, and one over here. And uh, that's the, the green line, actually. Um, and then the blue line shows the balance, uh, so it tells you whether you're running a positive or a negative uh, for your cash flow in the project. When an expense occurs can be changed per task, so that can be on a, on a weekly, bi-weekly, uh, when a location is being completed, etc., etc. And the same thing applies to the income events. So you can tie that to a location completion in your project. Uh, 